Hello and welcome to my presentation, The Mainframe, an alternative platform for OpenSUSE. Before I told more uh, about OpenSUSE on the Mainframe, now I want to give you an introduction uh, how you uh, can contribute as a developer and where you can receive support for your contributions. Uh, if, at first, I will tell you a little bit about the mainframe, what it is, then how you uh, can add S390X as an additional architecture in OBS. Then we are coming to an important topic, the open mainframe project uh, and the Linux One open source software community cloud that you can receive also your own uh, mainframe VMware. Uh, when we are, uh, I am also the founder of the Linux distribution working group. I will give you a little bit the background of that and how you receive uh, uh, support uh, there. Then our goals for all Linux distributions uh, of the Linux distribution working group and for upstream projects, how we want to integrate them. And it, uh, finally, uh, I will give you an overview how to receive support in development and architecture specific stuff, unimportant whether inside of OpenSUSE or outside of OpenSUSE. Therefore, you sh uh, should differ uh, then between OpenSUSE bugs and upstream bugs then. But I will give you an introduction there. The mainframe. Most of you will use x86 hardware on uh, your laptops and everything else. I can see also some former S390X developers here. But anyway, some of you don't know it, therefore I want to give you an introduction. That is a large high performance computer system. It is well known as large because this year we have uh, received a new release of a really small mainframe. You can see it uh, before as a rack mount uh, system. Later I will give a presentation about that the new mainframe for edge computing and industry for zero uh, in the other hall about that. Most uh, uh, people and developers are calling that also big endian systems because there is a difference between little endian and big endian systems. IBM has given it also the name uh, S390X as an architecture and it is mostly used for mission critical data, therefore uh, most customers are using it for finance data like DATEV or uh, banking systems and insurance things, therefore uh, that is the most uh, used uh, service and most uh, customers are using it in this uh, uh, direction. One benefit is also that you can run thousands of VMs on such a system and I have chosen this direction <coughs> after uh, uh, writing my bachelor thesis at IBM, and you can use it also for Kubernetes stuff and everything else. We have got S390X as an architecture also in uh, OBS. Sometimes uh, uh, you cannot find it uh, directly because it, that is hidden behind the name uh, factory C systems. And I have also seen many projects who didn't enable it, and finally I had uh, uh, to create bug reports. You did not test and uh, build it uh, for S390X. I have got this problem. Can we fix it, uh, uh, please? Therefore, I want to give you a uh, hint how to enable it. You can add S390X under repositories, add from a distribution, and then open through the factory C systems. I have added also a screenshot of it that is uh, uh, here on the right side. And then you can build also in your uh, projects for open source factory C systems and then you can receive an overview uh, 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 whether it can be built or not. We have got also our uh, ISO images for uh, C systems, open QA stuff and everything else. But that is the path how you as a packager and developer can also test it. Then we are coming to the Open Mainframe project. The Open Mainframe project should be an open hardware project uh, as a default, but it is under uh, the hood of the Linux Foundation and uh, the foundation date was in 2015. The focal point is the deployment and usage of Linux and open source in a mainframe computing environment. 
and uh, IBM is the founding uh, partner and they want to bring all uh, their open source project, especially COS, uh, 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 operating system uh, 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 stuff uh, uh, to there and we are one of the uh, uh, first uh, working groups related to Linux, but anyways, we have got also one uh, uh, benefit for all developers, the Linux One Community Cloud and the Linux One Open Source Software Community Cloud. The difference is that the Linux One Community Cloud is providing VMs for 120 days for developers, students, and professors. Therefore, you can receive with a one-click registration access uh, to there, and you have got uh, 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 a Linux VM there and can test and develop based on it. I want to give a hint uh, that the accounts will be removed afterwards and you can recreate your user account there and uh, receive a new VM for 120 days. Another uh, good thing is that open source projects can receive long-term VM access uh, via the Linux One open source software community cloud. That is a special uh, uh, Linux One uh, cloud besides the other one with a difference, there are many open source projects. Debian will receive their CICD pipeline there now. Uh, also, and uh, we at OpenSUSE have got seven VMs for development uh, and hackathons. Christian has uh, one, Berthold has one, I have one, my colleague Holger has uh, got one. Therefore, we can use it uh, for development stuff without any end. The re single requirement is that uh, you are using any open source project as a reference and then you are receiving your long-term access. The uh, choice is between Ubuntu, Ray, and Celeste during the installation because uh, these one are the enterprise Linux partners and official uh, supported Linux distributions, but we have got a benefit as OpenSUSE that we can upgrade less to OpenSUSE. Therefore, we are a single community distribution which can use it also without real uh, uh, IBM support in the Linux One community cloud, and therefore we can use also our own Linux distribution there. Our working groups at uh, 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 the Open Mainframe Project are three ones. I'm active in two ones. Uh, 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 you can see which one is not uh, my favorite one, the COBOL working group. That is a, a working group uh, for creating COBOL programming uh, 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 trainings uh, and uh, other things related to that. And I, uh, I am the founder of the Linux distribution working group. Uh, where we are uh, working together and then I want to bring a little bit my background uh, with Linux into the modernization working group that uh, we have got also with a chance uh, between our choices between all Linux distributions there and not only uh, a COS uh, a modernization things there. Hmm? Here we have got an overview about all Linux distributions in our uh, uh, Linux distribution working groups. We are, uh, SUSE uh, is where, OpenSUSE is where uh, uh, we are different persons uh, 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 there, of course, because I'm no SUSE employee. Debian uh, is one founder, Fedora is one uh, founder, uh, Ubuntu has uh, joined uh, via uh, our uh, uh, developer advocate Elizabeth, who is also an Ubuntu member. Then, after FOSDEM, Rocky Linux and Alma Linux have joined, IBM will be represented uh, via the distinguished engineer Ulrich Weigand. And yes, we are looking also for somebody else from Red Hat uh, uh, sideware because uh, Fedora and Red Hat have got the same uh, uh, representative. Uh, Dan Horak at the moment, uh, and we would also prefer a split there, but anyway, uh, we have uh, Red Hat is also available, but we are Fedora at the moment. Here is our structure. 
Elizabeth and I, uh, we had uh, the idea for founding the Linux distribution working group at the IBM C day and said we want to work together. Elizabeth uh, 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 asked uh, Debian people and Ubuntu uh, then I reached out to Fedora people for founding it and uh, afterwards we had one representative for every uh, Linux distribution that is required for the input and now uh, this year we said we want to integrate also upstream developers. They are also welcome during out our meetings. Uh, one month ago we had uh, a Kafka developer as a guest who had uh, an OpenMP requirement and SUSE is the sponsor of our Linux distribution working group. Our goals are to uh, create a place to collaborate across Linux distributions via uh, an open mainframe project mailing list, wiki and chat. Therefore, we have got uh, also uh, a Slack channel. In my case, I'm not available there a lot. I'm um, uh, more active on the mailing list and during our meetings. We provide also a space for distributions to request for help on their port. Therefore, also upstream developers, if you have got any problems, uh, you can ask for support there. And then one hint also for Fedora and everything else, we, we have got a, a written a goal, ensure any and all infrastructure required is available for supporting the ports. Therefore, Debian had this problem uh, uh, last month. Uh, their CI CD pipeline for S390X didn't work anymore, and nobody uh, has known who is responsible for the ma Debian mainframe at the moment. Now the decision was uh, that has to work. We want to put it into uh, uh, the Linux One community cloud. They will receive a long-term support via IBM now. If uh, SUSE or Red Hat uh, have got problems with their partnership uh, uh, contract and OpenSUSE or Fedora are hanging behind that and something does not work anymore, we as a Linux distribution working group will say you, you have should receive support. There, is, uh, there are two options when IBM will pay the transfer to the new location of the mainframe or you will receive another uh, um, a mainframe uh, for uh, your test environments then. And one uh, big wish from my side uh, because of problems two years ago was also better support for IBM to fix S390X specific bugs. And now we are receiving really fast uh, bug fixes now. Therefore, I would say our goals are really good for all Linux distributions now. Our collaborative process is going via problem discussions on our mailing lists, unimportant whether from us or from upstream developers. We reproduce issues sometimes, and then we have got open discussions on the mailing lists. We forward issues and ideas uh, of improvements uh, for IBM. Mostly uh, they are accepting uh, uh, all and we have got monthly come together meetings uh, for uh, reviews uh, then. Upstream developers, everybody uh, uh, can join and we are uh, uh, discussing uh, then the problems and think about how to solve that. The same is also with feature requests. I can uh, tell here, I, uh, after uh, fixing most problems, I said, when, so we want uh, to become innovative. Can we uh, create feature requests? And the distinguished engineer said, when, okay, uh, you, you don't have a, uh, the same access as Red Hat uh, and Suze uh, to us for uh, 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 suggesting uh, feature requests. I am the responsible person for you now for that. And I uh, want uh, to forward all your wishes. And that is working really well, I can say. Now we are coming to our development pro uh, process. If you have got any S390X specific problems, there are two ways how you uh, can work here. Is that... OpenSUSE specific uh, 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 pro, uh, 
uh, uh, the problem when we have got our biweekly meetings of our open source C systems team. That is uh, uh, for uh, employees um, uh, made, that it is, you can you, um, do it after work in Europe. And we are doing a knowledge uh, sharing uh, and as for S390X and open source specific stuff. I give also trainings uh, for S390X architecture, or we are speaking about packaging stuff and everything else. I give, uh, I provide also the news from IBM side and by the Linux distribution working group, what has uh, been happening. Is there anything important for us to know? And then uh, we have got also a nice team uh, uh, event every year. We are organizing a SUSE and open SUSE C systems team with a bar as a barbecue event. <laughs> Therefore, you have got an additional reason to join our team if you want uh, uh, to contribute. And yes, I have added also training material to our wiki page. If you don't know how to use a C system or how something is built, I have added the most uh, training material I have received by IBM, SUSE, and everything. And yes, we have got our own mailing list. I know some IBMers have been subscribed. We are also, after my leaving, they said they don't let me, uh, they don't want to let me alone uh, there. And if you have got bug reports for S390X, add me with my nickname Ada Lovelace on CC, then I can forward it also to IBM. And one pleasure, don't use my old user account from IBM, please. I don't receive any emails with that. Don't use Sarah Griech at IBM.com. I, uh, I have received uh, some hints in the past by Lubosch. You did not respond there. Yes, that is not my uh, uh, account. Use my community account, please. I had to create that as an IBMer, but I don't receive any emails anymore because I am no IBMer. I am a community member here. If uh, something is affecting uh, your problem for all Linux distributions or as a developer within an upstream project, you can receive really fast support via our mailing list of the Linux distribution working group. Other Linux distributions, uh, uh, Linux distributions can reproduce uh, also build issues. Is it uh, also available in other Linux distributions? And the IBM Distinguished Engineer Ulrich Weigand is interacting in some hours. He is responding on development problems. He, uh, he will answer on GitHub uh, with uh, support. That is the mistake that has to be written so then. And afterwards, you're receiving uh, uh, solid solutions for upstream within hours or latest in some days. I have added also the link for our um, uh, uh, mailing list of the uh, Linux distribution working group. And so we have got a nice environment with collaborating with other Linux distributions and problems are solved mostly until uh, 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 the next meeting. It seems I am a little bit faster than expected. Now we can speak about your questions. Have you got any problems at the moment or wishes what uh, should be integrated? Or have, uh, is anything else available for you? What you want to say to me? My, my question is, uh, what, what's your experience with the cross-distribution issue finding? Do all distributions find the same issue but don't know about? Do they all find common upstream issues and they do know about it? Or is it all distribution-specific downstream issues which are not really about the upstream? I can say uh, 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 issues on application level are mostly for all distributions uh, reproducible. 
uh, the funny uh, case is a database which has also not worked on x86 and after two weeks it has worked everywhere when for S390X only but not for x86 <laughs> therefore it has been fixed really fast on low level for this uh, database application and when ooh, it is working now a funny case S390X is working but x86 not but anyway yes application level uh, is mostly everywhere uh, but if you have got uh, a kernel problem uh, this, that is mostly distribution specific because every Linux distribution is using a different kernel we had it already that Ubuntu has got a kernel problem. We had the situation that Debian had a kernel problem. Uh, uh, we will be informed when uh, this Linux distribution has, get, has got this kernel problem. Is any other Linux distribution also affected by it? And mostly we are saying no, that is the single Linux distribution then. Thank you. Um, you have mentioned several times that it is easy to get an account on a VM, or, well, a VM with an account. Um, well, what is the um, available hardware on that? So, I mean, okay, I can get a VM, but will I have a ZFCP? Will I have a crypto adapter? Can I use encrypted memory? Uh, things like that. Like, uh... Uh, If you are receiving a, uh, 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 access uh, we have a community project. You uh, you receive also access to the ticket system in the background, and you can request uh, configurations for that. Uh, therefore, with a 120-day version, you don't have this uh, possibility. There is the expectation you are an application developer and nothing else. You have to build it, perhaps, and specific S390X spec uh, configurations. Why that? But if you are coming as a Linux developer and you are saying, uh, I want to receive long-term access, I need this configuration in the background, the Linux One community uh, cloud maintainers are saying, okay, you can receive a specific configuration then. Okay, thank you. I mean, because some of these resources are scarce, like uh, you can't virtualize a crypto adapter, you have to just partition the machine so that the VM exactly. gets one. Okay, okay. That's why I was asking how much is available on that cloud. <laughs> uh, I am also in discussion uh, with IBM. Uh, we want to have more uh, Linux, uh, community Linux distributions and more possibilities for Linux developers, but that is a little bit slow in the old process, I would say. Yeah, I can see. Like getting the uh bleeding edge features like NVMe and so may, may not even be installed in the hardware. Bug fixing is faster now because at, after leaving I, I had a talk uh, with the chief product owner and I told uh, them how fast you can receive bug fixes from suicide site and then what so fast we have to improve our process. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. and then you are receiving it within uh, one day now. <laughs> Thank you. Then thank you for joining a few. Ah, one question. Yeah, regarding testing. Um, I'm happy to see that uh, S390 is tested on, for example, OpenK, OpenSUSE Org, so for OpenSUSE, and also on Alma Linux, but they're uh, differently, they're, they're different, you, you know, as you said, different hardware, different environments, uh, VM, ZVM and such. Do you have uh, wishes or suggestions to the community regarding testing, in particular automated testing? My problem um, in this uh, direction is that the time uh, for enabling all the tests for uh, OpenSUSE is missing during my working time. Therefore, I have got the big overview and I try to do something related uh, to that if I have got time. But anyway, it takes a long time uh, to enable one uh, 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 test suite. Therefore, from my, from my point of view, I hope uh, that we can collaborate here also more with the other Linux distributions 
uh, together. Fedora is uh, using OpenQA. Uh, Debian is using OpenQA, but we can collaborate here more together in the future. Uh, that, is, uh, that has been also uh, already a topic on the Open Mainframe project level now. Uh, we are happy about uh, the usage, but anyway, from my point of view, it would be nice if all would contribute to our OpenQA repository then and not separately. You are right here. Thank you. Yes, then we are nice in time. Thank you for joining then.